such a pleasure to have you here with us. Um, when you first got the opportunity to, to voice Roz, what really appealed to you? And how did you approach this very particular voice you create and also how it changes through the film? What attracted me to Roz was the singular challenge of playing a non-living, breathing, feeling character as a living, breathing, feeling person. I thought that was going to be really interesting, and it did. It was. I was inspired by AI voices like Alexa and Siri, uh, be, at which they all have a sort of like relentless optimism, and like they feel there's a feeling of like they can do anything and nothing is ever wrong, and that's what inspired the beginning of Roz. But Roz's journey is really into finding uh, self-actualization and emotional intelligence. And I really love the idea of going on an arc vocally as well. I did read the book The Wild Robot by Peter Brown and I loved it. It felt timeless, classic. I was surprised to learn that it was only published in 2016 because it felt like a book that has existed for much longer than that. And I thought the themes were really special and sweet to remind people that kindness is a survival skill and something worth engaging in. You know, a few years ago, I learned that the saying, blood is thicker than water, is actually not accurate. It's actually, the blood of the lab is thicker than the water of the room. So it's actually the opposite of what we use. The chosen family ultimately can sometimes be our bedrock. And I think it's really important to remember um, that we are connected beyond our immediate tribe, which is what this film is about. Uh, Roz finds herself in an alien world, and in the beginning, there, everyone's afraid of her, and she doesn't understand anybody. But through adaptation and being programmed for kindness, she is able to uh, affect change around her, but the, the, the island also changes her, which is just really beautiful to know that change is not necessarily, does not necessarily lead to annihilation.